What is going on guys welcome back to another brand new video full of knowledge full of examples full of pips full of money right but before you watch this video if you're new to my channel there's a chance you're not going to understand the things that i'm talking about in this video so there's the first comment the pinned comment down below in the comment section go ahead check that out there will be four to five videos linked down there go ahead watch those videos first because the words that I'm going to be repeating, repeatingly saying in this video, um, chances are you're not going to understand them or this might be the first time you are hearing about them. So please go watch those videos first. Come back to this video. Uh, this video by that time will be in a bonus for you with more examples, right? So please uh, do that. And also just a little disclaimer, I'm not a financial nor an investment advisor. Please do not take this video and the other videos, all the other videos on my channel as an indication for you to go ahead and invest your money. Online trading world carries a very huge risk. Please make sure you do your own research before setting foot into this world. Damn, I feel like a rapper doing that intro. Anyways, let's start with S&P 500. So I talked about this in my previous, in my latest live stream, right? Um... I said that there was a very high chance that S&P 500 was going to come here for these equal highs or this resistance. So this is exactly where I had marked this. I have not moved it. You can go to that live stream. You can check that out. It is the first example I went through. So S&P 500 came for these equal highs. And then what happened? Why is this my area of focus? Well, how do I like to identify the ex-girlfriend, right? or the institutional move, or the, or the FU candle, or the fake stop hunt, or the fake breakout. How do I identify that as a potential point of entry? Well, after the last bullish candle, the last buy, this huge reaction came out, this huge sell. So if the market was to continue higher, why did this reaction come out of it? And if the resistance was broken, why did the market break down below again and instead of it, this resistance, this structure becoming a support, why did it act as a resistance again, right? So this is why this tells me that the market makers or the market movers got into the market over here and they brought the market down below. So the, this I said this in one of my previous videos or live stream, I think that the beauty about the genius money concept is that it lets you trade both ways. It lets you trade against the market. It lets you trade with the market. So against the trend or with the trend. As you can see, there's three potential setups right in front of you right now, right? I talked about this setup in my live stream where I was targeting this gap and, <clears throat> and this setup happened right after. There were set of equal lows here, market, after this huge bearish candle, after this um, strong sell, we saw this reaction. So if the market was to continue lower, it should have just continued, right? Also, the market was oversold. And then we saw this pin bar. If you like to trade candles, this was a good indication for you. Market came back to our area of focus and boom. So this is how you identify your area of potential entry, right? Let's talk about US 30 for a little bit. US 30 did the same thing. It was in the consolidation. Let me go down to the 15 minute time frame because this is a huge candle. So we saw consolidation, equal highs, equal lows, liquidity being created on either sides of the market. And then we saw this strong sell and then boom, this bu bullish reaction. So if the market was to continue lower, should it just continue lower, breaking this support which would now be acting as a resistance. It just continued lower. So this tells me this could be a potential entry for a buy in the future, right? So there you go. For US 30, this is for US 30. Uh, if the market comes down, starts creating liquidity in this area where we already have wicks. We have wick here right we have a wick here and we have a wick here so if the market comes down to this area starts creating some sort of equal some sorts of 
eco lows and then drops into our area of potential entry that would be the ideal setup that i'm always looking for so this is for the us 30. now i want to talk about somebody asked me can we enter off of imbalance now what is imbalance imbalance is something like this where there is a very strong one directional move so only bullish only only buying right market makers are only buying here you see no wicks like these that are covering the last candle no wick is covering this candle this is imbalance and this is imbalance usually i target the imbalance at the half of the candle so right here this was also imbalance right so somebody asked me can we target that as an ex-girlfriend move and i was like you know what let me show you guys an example usd cad let me go ahead and delete all of this we saw this one directional move right and there is no selling pressure here so this is an imbalance what happens when th whenever there is an imbalance market has to come down low fill that imbalance with some sort of wicks or candles and then continue if it wants to go higher it can go higher if it wants to go lower it can go lower but the point is the market has to fix this or fill this imbalance so how do you target this imbalance for a potential entry to the upside right in this case because it is a it is a potential uh it is a potential trade to the upside because we have uh, a lot of liquidity in this area right these equal wicks uh these equal highs so this could be targeted as our potential uh target take profit right or even this but this is an example for the for a bullish move right so what happens you cannot just blindly enter a trade guys you need to see some sort of distribution right some sort of liquidity being created and in this case we have liquidity being created right here a set of equal lows and then when you see these equal lows being created you have your imbalance marked out on your charts and you drop drop down to the 15 minute time frame so you see this strong sell and then you see these reactions to the bottom this is telling you that the market doesn't want to continue lower and then you see this bullish reaction so right away the last sell came in here oh my god this is where the last push and momentum to the downside came before the up move so this would be my potential area of entry right nobody see look i'm not telling you guys to enter off of the imbalance even though it is a very strong target uh, point of entry but i want you guys to to enter safely and i'm sure i'm going to show you guys more examples even using the genius money concept i'm going to show you guys more examples of entering safely okay so even if you have everything you have your potential area of focus you have your equal highs equal lows and you have your reactions and rejections you still need to enter safely and that is what i'm going to show you guys exactly in today's video right so this is how you enter off of an imbalance potential entry off of imbalance let's say you missed this right but if you're on the 15 minute time frame and this reaction has already happened it comes down to that last area of push push down you can enter over here you'd be in a loss for a very small amount of pips only six pips so play it safe let the move happen there will always be a chance for an entry don't panic okay so let's talk about some trades that i took oh my god there's so many examples i'm only going to talk about a few I'm only going to talk about the two trades that I took and the rest I'll talk about later in the next video. You're a GBP. I call this trade out on my Instagram as soon as the week started. So we had a set of equal lows right away. You can see I uh, pointed out the liquidity that was being created here. And we saw this move. I didn't enter off of this move. No. I saw this move happen. And then let me go back to the charts. You're a GBP. Where you are? Where are you? There you go. So, if the market was to break down, break below this support or these equal lows, 
why did it come back up and why did it start showing us rejections at the bottom right this is what i like to look at i don't enter blindly even though i have my potential area of entry area of focus the ex-girlfriend move i have that but i'm still not entering over here i need to see some sort of rejections some sort of reaction that bullish reaction didn't come out yet right so what did i do i entered go down to the 15 minute time frame oops wait let me just go ahead and there you go so i dropped down to the 15 minute time frame and this is where i entered i saw this reaction market still came back these there, there were still re rejections at the bottom these wicks and i entered and i had only targeted about 60 pips right but i want you guys to see something the market went for 160 pips plus because we had equal highs here we had imbalance here the market came back and filled that imbalance but that's not the point the point is how do you as a trader having the knowledge about these concepts how do you trade safely i look you have all this knowledge right what good is the knowledge if you don't know how to use it safely you have a gun right let's say you have a gun but what good is the gun if you don't know how to use it safely unless that you have some other intentions right you have all this knowledge how are you going to use it safely same thing happened here market broke below market broke below came back up when you saw these rejections you could have entered and you could have made a small amount of 30 pips this would be a scalp not bad and the imbalance could be filled right so this is what i'm talking about same thing over here if the market was to break below this support why did it come back inside and why did it give you 50 pips why right so this is how you tra train your eyes to look at the market train your brain you know this has to become a muscle memory before you start trading it profitably okay another trade that i called out on my instagram so this picture was i i analyzed all of this on my phone so this is a picture screenshot from my phone okay so you can you don't need to have a computer and anything if you know what you're doing right so there were two entries over here the market was over here at that time so if the market broke below and continued lower we still wouldn't have missed this trade right what is that anyways so when i entered off of here off of here i still made 50 pips i made 50 pips i took half my profits and i moved my stop loss which was over here i moved it to my entry the market came back up and i want you guys to see this area do you guys see this area very good keep it in your brain keep it safe do not forget this Let's go to GBPJPY. I want you guys to look at the, the accuracy of this, okay? Market came back up to our potential area of entry. Right here. Do you guys see that? It came back right over there, right to this area. Even though some people could argue that the true resistance is here. This is the true resistance. And why is this a true resistance? Because we have more wicks here and we have more wicks here. This was a false breakout. This was a false breakout. Right. But why am I looking at this wick, which was a fake breakout? Why am I looking at that? Well, what do you guys see here? And then let me just go ahead and delete this. Let me go ahead and delete this. Let me go ahead and delete this so you guys can see it more clearly. And what under that imbalance, what do you guys see? Another example for imbalance. So we have this imbalance. Let me go ahead and pull it out like that. We have this imbalance and we have liquidity above the imbalance. Perfect, right? That is perfect. That is what I'm talking about. Don't just enter off of imbalance. No. Look for a reason to enter off of the imbalance. Yes, there is equal highs. Right? Market came up. 
into that area, you were into a you were in a loss for about three pips, and then boom, the market dropped, gave you 140. So I took my uh, half my profit at about 100 pips, which was here, right here. This is where I took my, and now my stop loss is at the area of entry. So now I'm gonna let it run all the way here to this imbalance. So now my stop loss is over here. So I'm I'm basically I'm in a risk free trade. Because even if the market comes back up and closes me out of the trade, I still would not be in a loss because my point of entry now or my stop loss is at the point of entry. So a very beautiful setup, guys. Very beautiful. Um, a safe entry. All the reasons to look for. And also, also one more uh, confirmation, right? So this was just above our, uh, just beneath our 78.6 Fibonacci. Very close to that. That's another one of the confirmations. And the, 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 the confirmation that I predicted this setup out of was that this is a potential head and shoulders shape. So this trade is going to come back here, or at least to this imbalance. And then it will continue doing what it wants to do. But... This is what I'm looking at, GBP, JPY. Now, this is not something that I do uh, over the night, right? This is something that comes out of so much experience. You need so much experience for this. And then you can safely predict or analyze these markets in such ways, right? You need a lot of practice before you can do this. Now... The video, I don't want to make it longer, but I have a few examples. These are all my pre uh, predictions and the setups that I entered. But unfortunately, and the DJPY, matter of fact, we are in a in a very good profit right now. Where is NZ DJPY? Where is it? Uh, NZD, NZD, NZD. There you go. Wait, is it NZ DJPY? Oh, NZDUSD, my bad, guys. My bad, NZDUSD. There you go. So I went through this on my live stream also. Let me go ahead and uh, pull this up. So my first take profit was just hit over here. Also, area of potential entry, why? Because it grabbed all these equal. Let me just go to the charts and explain it better. Let me delete this resistance. Okay, so... The market grabbed these equal highs and we saw the same reaction that we always see right we see this buy and then boom that sell that market makers uh, move right that move that they're telling you now that we have entered the market and now we are gonna take the market and we are in control of the market so that's exactly what happened and right now I think my second take profit got hit as well and third one was very close Damn. Anyways, so this is what I was looking at, uh, NZD USD. I don't want to make the video too much uh, longer than it needs to be. CAD, JPY, same thing. I'll just go over it. So we had this area of... Uh, so this is accumulation of orders, right? This is what the market likes to do after a, a an impulse move. It will come to an area where it will start collecting orders and then we see this. So I saw this pin bar... This huge, we, I was seeing reactions at the bottom anyways, but this pin bar gave me the, the absolute confidence that I needed. And I entered after that and I closed, uh, KJPY, right? I closed half of my trade at, let me just go ahead and show you guys real quick. I closed half my trade, I think about here, right where this money box was. So just in case the market was about to reverse from these areas, I so, uh, I closed out my trade here at about 50 pips. Uh, but I'll move. I have moved my stop loss to the area of entry, and I'll let this run to this resistance, true resistance, and we'll see what happens. Right now, we have a very strong chance that the market is going to continue lower. 
but we'll see about that uh also if you were to trade the reversal or continue with the market you could have done so after you have identified your imbalance and after you have identified your set of equal highs so this is how you can trade the market so many ways guys there's so many things you can do right support and resistance fibonacci imbalance equal highs equal lows area of potential entry area of focus and uh, area of ac accumulation distribution there's so many things you can trade don't just limit yourself to one thing no it's better to learn a new skill right it's better to keep learning there the, the genius money, money concept doesn't just limit itself to equal highs and equal lows no that is the safest way to trade it yes but there are so many other ways you can trade it as well so i hope you learned something from this video i hope the imbalance whoever asked us that question you're a legend um i hope you guys learned something from this video uh, if you want to um, target the imbalances if you want to target these accumulation boxes or whatever right you can do whatever you want there is just unlimited types of things you can do um so i hope you guys learned something from this video keep showing the amazing support you guys always show i'll see you guys in the next video peace